What was predicted to be a close game between Maryland and Northwestern turned into a 72-59 victory for the Terps. The team is now back in College Park to face their next opponent, Rutgers University. Whenever teams have great guard play, it worries you. And um, they have four guards that can score the ball. Uh, they are depleted. Um, her daddy said something about one kid that's going to be reevaluated, one of the big kids, I think it's Freeman. Um, uh, might play tomorrow night, which would really help their team. Um, a great transition. Um, you know, they change their defenses. There's a lot of things there. We have a mission this year, and we can't look at what's written on paper. Um, that's not real life. So we're, you know, looking at this, and you know, we're getting into the meat of our season, third Big Ten game, and we can't look at what people are projecting us to do. We have to take each and every game seriously. We have to approach it um, with a high, high standard, and um, we're, we're ready. Good teams. Uh, don't have a letdown after a, a big win on the road. So uh, we're looking to be a good team. So we're, we're focused and we're ready and we're not taking anyone lightly or overlooking any team. Rutgers is led by Corey Sanders, who is a leading Big Ten freshman of the scoring and steals. The graduate transfer, Omari Greer, has been leading the team in the Big Ten games with 14.5 per game while shooting 50% from three. Tip-off for Wednesday night's game is at 7 p.m. and you can catch all the action on the Big Ten Network. Make sure to follow us on all social media at Terrapin Hoops for all things Maryland basketball.